Well, after a month off from debate sparring, the Republican candidates who want to take on Barack Obama were again taking on each other tonight. And in keeping with the tradition of this campaign so far, a different candidate is now seen as the biggest threat. The CBC's Paul Hunter has the latest developments from Washington. Paul? Amanda, in the 26 days since the last time these four met for a debate, much has changed in this contest, not least the name at the top of the polls. As those aiming to take on Barack Obama for the presidency stepped out on stage tonight, the one with the broadest grin, Rick Santorum, once deemed least likely to succeed, has defied them all. Meet the new front runner. I'm Rick Santorum, and we have assailed by critics for his anti gay, anti abortion, climate change denying views, the former Pennsylvania senator is, in a sense, the latest not Mitt, not Mitt Romney. Long presumed the eventual winner, unless that is someone better comes along. I want to restore America's promise. Santorum paints himself as the sharpest alternative to Barack Obama and has changed the tone of this contest. He opposes prenatal testing because, as he says, it does in fact result more often than not in this country in abortion. And though he denies likening Obama to Hitler, Santorum uses what he calls a World War II metaphor in urging voters against standing idly by. We think, well, you know, it'll get better. Yeah, he's not, he's, I mean, he's a nice guy. After a while, you found out some things about this guy over in Europe, and he's not so good of a guy after all. He also says Obama practices a phony theology, although... I wasn't suggesting the president's not a Christian. And then there's a comment from 2008 that resurfaced this week in which he says the U.S. has been targeted by Satan. And Satan has done so by attacking the great institutions of America brushed off by the candidate this week. I, I believe in good and evil. Tonight, the new front runner moved on and went after the old front runner on something else, health care. But this is, the, the whole reason this issue is alive is because of the bill that you drafted in Massachusetts, Romney Care, which was the model for Obamacare. Meanwhile, the guy they're all chasing, Barack Obama, waits for his challenger to be chosen, though by the sound of it... He's hardly glued to the TV, worrying who that might be. The next step for Republicans, Amanda, two primaries on Monday in Michigan and Arizona. And though some think Romney may squeak through both, we've all learned there's no predicting this contest and there's a long way to go. All right. Thanks so much, Paul. Paul Hunter.